Hey guys, welcome back to Streaming Nerds and I'm back with another video tutorial. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can connect your RII8 keyboard or RII8 Plus keyboard to your Android box. And as you can see, this is a very simple tutorial, but a lot of people get confused as to how to get their RII8 remote working. And that is because when they receive this i8 keyboard or i8 plus keyboard, they start pressing the buttons. But it does not work like that. You have to first connect this keyboard through the USB dongle that comes with it uh, to the Android box and then it will work. And I'm going to show it to you in this simple tutorial how you can do that. Now in order to get this keyboard to work with your Android box, you need to connect the USB dongle to your Android box. That is the step number one. So as you can see, there is a cover behind uh, the keyboard and you need to take out that cover. So I'm going to just use my nail of my finger and I'm going to pull it. There you go. I have opened the cover and now you can see there is the USB dongle right here here so I'm gonna just open it and take it out so you can see the USB dongle is out and I'm gonna put the cover back so the cover is back and now we have the dongle with us that we need to connect to our Android box and you need to connect it on the USB ports of the Android box so it goes right here these are the three USB ports and I have connected the USB dongle into one of them and I'm going to leave it back. So once this step is done, you need to also make sure that you have turned on the keyboard and you can see right here there is the button that is set to off right now. If you can see it clearly, it is set to off right now and I'm going to move it to the left side and I have switched it to on now and you can see there's a yellow light blinking and it wants to connect to the USB dongle and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn on my Android box once I turn on the Android box this flashing yellow light should automatically turn to blue so the blue light is on and now you can see that this light has also turned blue because now this is connected to the USB dongle and the USB dongle is connected to your Android box so now this is going to work for sure and one more thing that I want to point out is that make sure that your i8 or i8 plus keyboard is fully charged and for that they provide the USB cable that you can see right here and one end of it goes into the keyboard and which is right here and the other end of this cable you need to connect to your Android box or to your laptop on the USB port and it will start charging. So that's how you charge this keyboard and in case you have not charged the keyboard up to a few hours, this keyboard will not work. So make sure that before using this keyboard, you charge it up to two hours and then you connect the dongle and everything as I showed you in this video and then it will work without any problems. So that's it for this video guys and I'll be back with more awesome videos. Until next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.